Welcome everyone. In this video, we will discuss the topic of vulnerable populations. Here you will learn about how vulnerable populations are defined and the problems that arise when searching for vulnerable populations within medical databases such as PubMed. So what are vulnerable populations? According to the American Journal of Managed Care, vulnerable populations are defined as individuals who may experience a greater risk for poor health status and healthcare access. Vulnerable populations may also have what are known as disparities related to their life expectancy, are not able to receive proper access to essential health care, or might have concerns associated with morbidity and mortality. But who is actually considered vulnerable throughout our society? The American Journal of Managed Care noted various populations that are vulnerable. Some examples include the elderly, racial or ethnic minorities, or persons with physical and mental illness. There are some aspects related to vulnerable populations that we have to keep in mind. The level of vulnerability that is faced by these populations is impacted by various factors that can either be social, economic, or even physical. Say, for example, there's an individual who is 75 years old, has little income, a low level of education, lives in poverty, and has other vulnerable factors. The level of vulnerability that is faced by this individual increases drastically. This notion demonstrates the concerns of vulnerable populations as it connects to healthcare. It is important to understand that connection between health domains and vulnerable populations occurs. The American Journal of Managed Care describes three domains that impact vulnerable populations. These include the physical domain, the psychological domain, and the social domain. As noted by the American Journal of Managed Care, the physical domain mostly involves vulnerabilities for mothers or infants, individuals who are chronically alert disabled, and those living with HIV or AIDS. The psychological domain involves individuals who deal with mental illness or other psychological factors such as substance abuse or alcoholism, and also those who may be considered suicidal. The social domain includes individuals whose vulnerability connects to aspects such as abuse or experiences with homelessness, and it also encompasses health vulnerabilities of immigrants or refugee persons. So really to summarize, vulnerable populations consist of various individuals who are dealing with the complexities of healthcare, along with circumstances that arise related to different social, economic, or other cultural factors. So now that we have a basic understanding about how to define vulnerable populations, we're going to now examine the issues of searching for them within medical databases. The examples that we're going to examine will be part of the PubMed medical subject headings, and we'll take a look at vulnerable populations including the elderly, incarcerated individuals, members of the LGBTQ community, and topics of race or ethnicity. So to start, let's say we wanted to examine a population of the elderly. If we input the term old, we're not necessarily provided with effective search results. We're given other headings such as old age assistance or old world or homes for the aged. The term older provides us with better results, but not all of them will be effective based on what we want to search. The headings frail elderly does not constitute elderly as a whole or a broad sense. Senior centers or elder nutritional physiological phenomena may not necessarily be what we're trying to search. Inputting the term aged, however, does provide us with the most effective results based on the description or the scope note that we'll look at in a moment. We can also see the same can be described when we input the term elderly. The same medical subject heading appears. So therefore, aged is probably most likely going to be one of the better terms to use when we're searching for vulnerable populations of elderly persons. It provides a specific description and allows you to examine other aspects found within the tree structure on the MeSH page. The description would be a person 65 years of age or older, and then you can follow the tree structure to see different aspects of this MeSH term. Another example we can use is trying to search for terms related to incarcerated individuals. As we can see here, if we simply inputted the term imprisoned people, no results appear. The same can be true if we were to search the term incarcerated people. So what do we need to do here? We need to try to search using a variety of terms and see what results will appear. Inputting the term imprisoned may seem useful, but within this specific database, it actually takes the user to the MeSH term for concentration camps. And this isn't what we want to search necessarily. 
Even inputting the term incarcerated automatically takes the user to the MeSH term for uterine retroversion. So it's clear that other terms need to be considered when searching this population. The best option when searching for incarcerated persons is to simply use the term prisoners based on the medical subject headings that have been created. The MeSH page for prisoners provides a description in the year that this medical subject heading emerged. We can see that the description is clearly persons deprived of their liberty and it was introduced in 1974. Another vulnerable population example that's commonly examined is the LGBTQ community. Searching with the term LGBTQ automatically takes the user to the MESH page for sexual and gender minorities. We know that this group is a vulnerable population, but this MESH term may not be what the user wants to be searched. Searching the term lesbian only provides the user with the same MESH term of sexual and gender minorities, but it also provides homosexuality female. So we can see that there's no exact MESH term for lesbian. We can also see that the same situation arises with the term gay. Only more MeSH terms are going to appear, such as homosexuality or homophobia. Even searching medical subject headings for the term queer automatically takes us back to the sexual and gender minorities. We can see that the term bisexual does appear to have a MeSH page, but we're given that first option of sexual and gender minorities again. And even searching bisexual, it takes us to the term bisexuality. When we input the term transgender, however, there does appear to be a MeSH page for this term, but we're not shown that typical sexual and gender minorities page. When we type in the term homosexuality, there is a medical subject heading for homosexuality. It even provides homosexuality for female and male. If we dive deeper though, we can see that homosexuality falls under sexuality. And so in doing so, we can see this tree structure begin to emerge. For the MeSH term of sexuality, we can see that the MeSH page for it encompasses the tree structure for bisexuality, heterosexuality, and homosexuality, and then even transsexualism. It falls under a tree structure of psychiatry and psychology. The final example that we will examine on vulnerable population searching is going to involve race and ethnicity. As we can see here, there's not a direct medical subject heading for the term race, but rather different headings such as racial groups, racial factors, race relations. The term racial does appear to provide different results such as ethnic and racial minorities and racism. This may not necessarily be what certain users are searching for, however. The MeSH page for racial groups appears to be a recently changed topic that was actually reintroduced in 2022. So this term demonstrates a tree structure that encompasses groups like American Indian, Asian, or Native Hawaiian. When we search for the term ethnic, we're provided with a somewhat surprising result. This includes terms such as ethnic cleansing or ethnic violence before we reach the ethnic and racial minorities. Searching the term ethnicity, however, does provide a medical subject heading. We can see that the heading for ethnicity only appears after that of ethnology. So it's important to understand how different terms are going to have different meanings and bring about different results within the search. The MeSH page for ethnicity demonstrates a tree structure that's different from racial groups and includes topics like Hispanic or Latino and Mexican Americans. But what happens if we attempt to search specific racial groups? like the term white. We are provided with the medical subject headings for white people and simply just white. What if we search the term black? The term black also provides heading for black people, but unlike white, we're provided with a heading that isn't simply black, it's black or African American. Even searching the term Native American really forces us to see that there's not a mesh term for Native Americans, but rather a term that's considered to be American Indian or Alaska Native. So to bring these concepts together about defining and searching for vulnerable populations, we have to ask the question of why these topics are somewhat difficult to search at times. Simply put, some topics are going to be more nebulous than others, and there's constant changes taking place throughout our culture and society that will impact how we use certain terms and the language that we use when searching. It's important that we remain informed about how to define vulnerable populations and how we can search certain terms within medical databases. 
by being well informed about different changes and involving vulnerable populations, a sense of confidence emerges overall in the care that will be provided. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video on vulnerable populations and how to search for them within medical databases.